Good morning, everyone. I wanted to release a quick video about how to set up your audio when you're streaming in the woodshop, since this could be uh, a path we want to take. There are two things you want to download. First, you want to download and install OBS, and you want to download and install RTX Voice. OBS is for streaming. It will help with, uh, you can use it as a virtual camera, set up scenes, use on Discord. And if we're going to start streaming to something outside of Discord, it be useful to get your head around. So first thing, uh, RTX Voice will work on anyone who has an NVIDIA card um, with a GTX or RTX stable on it. And what this one does, this one takes care of all the machine noise. If we only ever do Discord, I still highly recommend you use this as your microphone input instead of the Discord audio uh, noise cancellation. This one is nice because if you have multiple microphones, you can switch between them. As you can see here is my desktop microphone and I go back and go to my lavalier microphone without having to change any other settings. This also lets me adjust the amount of sound that comes through on the machines, um, which makes it very useful and it's better than the complete noise cancellation that Discord does. Second, uh, in OBS, allows some audio processing that will hit the other side of workshop noise, which are the loud impacts like hammering and chiseling and keeping those from getting ear raping. So what you want to do is you want to get your OBS installed, set your microphone up. As I said, I always have the microphone set up directly to RTX voice since it became a thing. I don't have to switch between my inputs here, which is very nice. The second thing you want to do is you want to go into your filters. So the first one we have is gain. And what gain is going to do is gain is going to be what brings you into the sweet spot of, which is the yellow. All right. So we always want to, we never want to go into the red. We want to peek in the yellow and sort of keep it in this yellow to green transition, which is my favorite spot to be. The second thing we have is the noise gate. What the noise gate will do, wrong computer, what the noise gate will do is that sets the minimum audio to come through your microphone. I have mine set at uh, the open threshold is negative 30 decibels and the close is at negative 40. I like to keep them 10 apart. This will get rid of the annoying noises that aren't in the shop or like people talking upstairs, dogs barking outside. Sometimes, you know, some people have chainsaws going outside their house all the time. You never know. <laughs> the next thing you want is the compressor. Uh, I recommend you start with my settings right here. And what compressors do in general is they take the lows and they bring them up and they take the highs and they bring them down. So as they say, they squish all the sound together into a ball as we are operating in an environment with those extremes. It sort of helps to keep your voice centered. And when you're talking, people won't have to constantly adjust your volume up or down. Again, play with these. Uh, watch your sound on the voice meter, and that'll help you judge what's going on. Uh, the final thing you want that works in conjunction with the compressor is anything that doesn't get compressed that's really loud, this limiter will bring back down. And I'm going, the use case for this one is the um, like hammer blows. If you're chiseling or hitting things really freaking hard, that will go through. So if I turn off the compressor and the limiter, what you're going to see is you're going to see a noise spiking up into the reds. And that is something you want to avoid at all times. And then for the final thing, I just want to show you how RTX voice works compared to uh, the Discord one. The Discord one, you turn on a router or a table saw, and then what happens is it, it basically shuts off the noise completely. But here, I'm going to turn on my dust collector. I'm going to turn off the uh, work. And you can hear that right in the background, that constant annoying noise. Now, with RTX Voice, I can turn this on in the fly, and it completely gets rid of the machine noise. And you can see here, this allows a certain amount of noise to come through. You can turn it off, turn off all the background noise all the way, although I think it helps to keep a little bit on so that your robot voice makes sense. That is all I have to say on this. If you have any other questions, hit me up in Discord. Um, as I said, this is something we were looking forward to doing, and I hope everyone gets on board.